My name is Dan Sitso. I'm an atmospheric chemist. I'll be joining the department as a professor in June of 2011. Uh, atmospheric chemistry, what I do is looking at the aerosol particles, the small particles that are in the atmosphere, and how they interact to form clouds. So we're very interested in how clouds form, both the liquid kind and today looking outside the ice kind. Um, both of them have a large impact on climate change. And we do this in two different ways. Um, we do field studies as well as laboratory work. So in the field, we'll use research aircraft. For example, we're going to be using a NASA research aircraft coming up in the next few months to go out. And we use that to chase clouds around so that we can get into the clouds. And then we separate out the ice crystals or the droplets in those clouds, use those as samples. And we use a technique called mass spectrometry to look at the chemical composition of the particles that form them so that we can understand what particles we're emitting into the atmosphere, which form which type of clouds, and which don't do anything that we don't have to necessarily worry about. Um, the other thing that we do in the laboratory is that we build small chambers where we can mimic atmospheric conditions. So we can raise the relative humidity and lower the temperature and induce clouds to form in the laboratory. So these are just small chambers that you could put on top of a, a bench top here in the lab and make those clouds. And then we can put in particles that we want to study. We can use things like mineral dust, which might be blown off of a farmer's field, or we can look at sea salt. Um, we can look at more exotic things. One that I'm particularly interested in is lead which comes not only from automotive leaded gasoline, which is still around, although people uh, don't necessarily think of that. They think of that as being something historical that was more from the 1970s, but there are actually countries that still burn that type of fuel. Um, it, there's actually very small aircraft that also burn that type of fuel, and it looks like it has a large impact on climate. Uh, we're also interested in things like biomass burning. Um, it's become very uh, important to understand how forest fires are impacting the environment, and we're interested in how those particles participate in cloud formation. And one of the advantages of doing those types of studies in the laboratory is that we can do those under very controlled experimental conditions so we can set the temperature and the relative humidity very precisely and look at what's forming 